Amioli Kuelo, a 15-year-old grade 10 pupil from Richard Vacha High School, sits in the e-learning summit at the ICC in East London. She is listening to the education officials educate the audience about how e-learning will expand access to education, enhance learning outcomes and equip learners with the knowledge and skills they need in subjects such as maths and science in the province. In the society technology could 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 help us with some more information. Uh, we, we could, it could help bana in in injela zo funda is although as basi as bana abafunda abafunda kenge is is funai. So I feel like in the e-learning it could help bana long funda nga kwazi understand the teacher. Tabu seko injela is technological zo funda kama ga understand apetere and do well is kubin. Uh, I also believe bana e technology is an information engine as bana is ilizo sila bana lea evolve every day. The department has launched a state-of-the-art studio where the lessons will be presented by top teachers in the province and streamed to schools throughout the region. Amioli is excited to have this extra resource at her disposal to help her better understand her subjects. She says having all subjects combined in a gadget will be more helpful than carrying a number of textbooks around in a backpack. The pupils like Amioli can click onto the education's platform on social media to download or stream the digital lessons. It's a lot easier to get iPads or laptops whereby you can get information on different subjects. You can get a textbook textbook because I send the subject to you one. So it textbook I use by one. Subject is on, so it could be a lot easier to get an iPad whereby you can get a for every subject in your iPad. During a panel discussions, Gita Thomas, a maths teacher who attended the summit, says the advantage of e-learning being streamed to the classroom is that pupils get an immediate response from the teacher when solving maths questions. One advantage of uh, these online educational websites is um, in case if a learner made a mistake, uh, immediately it will show, okay, the answer is wrong and what is the correct answer. And uh, also all the explanations are there. So it means that uh, the learners are getting uh, immediate feedback, and that is very important in uh, teaching and learning. And also, they can move according to their pace. The COVID-19 pandemic underscored the importance of digital technology in education, revealing wide disparities in access and learning outcomes. This was the time when the education department started looking into e-learning and rolling out connectivity to all the schools in the province. This new digital innovation expands access to educational opportunities for learners deep in the rural areas of the Eastern Cape. We have invited a number of provinces that are operating in the space, your Gauteng, uh, your Limpompo, uh, your KZN and others, but equally inviting uh, institutions um, that are researching on the throughput on mathematics in the country in general so as to inform the provincial strategy moving forward and also align that with the provincial development plan as an overarching policy of government and also provide leadership and resource mobilization strategy to achieve that objective. Officials from different provinces shared their experience on e-learning. Raj Mokhorosi from Gauteng province says in order to realize digital learning, resources must be made fully available. Because of the state of the infrastructure in our public schools, we needed to change the, the, the face of public schooling because we wanted to attract these learners back into our, into our, into our schools. I had the opportunity to talk about the rationalization of schools. The bulk of the schools that we, that, that we were sitting with at the time in townships were either uh, underutilized, closed, or the infrastructure was not. So we needed an intervention that would, that, that would, that, that would uh, deal with this. Andy Listofile from Imbizo Events says there is a lack of collaboration between the Department of Education and the Department of Communications in the Eastern Cape, which has resulted in the slow migration to e-learning in the province. <laughs> It's very simple. It's a collaboration between the different stakeholders. If you look at just government itself, uh, is the Department of Communications and Digital Technologies uh, speaking to the Department of Education? 
Because it's one thing to go and say that, let us go and put in devices uh, at, at a particular school. But if there's no connectivity, then you've got a problem. It's one thing to say that, uh, you know, is, is, is the department also speaking to the guys that pro provide the curriculum? Because if you've got a device that is there, if it does not have the right curriculum and the right content, then it's a useless device. The two-day summit will continue on Wednesday with panel discussions and presentations around improving the digital learning outcomes. I am Yamgelam Chiyo for MPK News in East London.